What do you recommend if your head looks up and comes off the ball when you tilt and rotate during the swing? I was always taught to finish my chin on my back shoulder to ensure I have seen the ball make contact with the bat. Is this a valid? Seeing the ball make contact with the bat is not valid advice. In fact, science has proved you can't see it. So why are you trying? It happens so quick, the last, I don't know, remember what it is, five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, whatever it is, you can't see the ball hit the bat. So you're basically predicting where contact should be, and therefore your head coming down isn't important. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you a video that I use every day while teaching that really changes people's uh, con concept, that changes their image of what they should be doing. Okay? Where are Manny's eyes? This is a home run. It doesn't even look like he's looking at the ball. Okay? Manny's creating an arc. He's predicted where the ball's coming, inside, out, up, down, wherever it is. He's made that prediction and he's creating an arc with his bat, snapping it rearward, it comes around, and he's able to get that arc in front of the ball. He's not pushing it to the ball, he's getting that arc in front of the ball. And any head down, try to see the ball movement will look like this, and great hitters don't do this. Okay? This is J.J. Hardy, he had a good major league career. I would never put him in a great hitter category. Not knocking his, his success, he was a good shortstop. Played a long time, but he doesn't have a high level swing. Another look, where's Barry's eyes? Okay, none of that head down look at contact thing. All right, turn the camera back around. Does the forward move feel more like a controlled drift forward or, or rather somewhat just lifting the front leg from a balanced back leg? Um, I like the drift. I've oftentimes said, imagine you have a swimming pool right here and you wanna go forward enough to fall into the pool but you want to pull back enough that you don't fall into the pool. So that, that means you're going to keep your head still as you do that move. If I'm not doing this and I go forward like I'm trying, I'm going to fall in the pool. If I'm doing, if I'm not doing this, or if I'm not going forward and I'm doing this, I'm going to pull myself this way. We want equal and opposite, one to one, however, fast or whatever effort we're looking at to go forward we want an equal effort so that we don't an equal effort rearward so we don't actually go forward and guess what you stretch okay so to me when we're in our uh, stance I feel like I'm creeping forward a little bit Drifting was your word, but my head is fairly still. My head is still, but my, my butt, ball of my rear femur, goes forward. Right behind me, you see something orange. That's the bathroom door. You can barely see it right now. My head will stay still, but now you can see the whole door, or a lot of the door. That's the forward move, okay? It's the ball of the rear femur moving forward I don't know, six or eight inches. You wanna feel like you're striding with your back leg. Everything is controlled with your back leg. You're not reaching with your front leg. You're not striding with your front leg. Everything is back leg controlled.